Hi, hello, and welcome everyone. You are watching the Omega Core channel. I'm your host, Rob. And today, we are looking at... Huffer. Huffer is from the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron trilogy, but he also did come from the 80s G1 show. So, as you can hear, he is in the box. I've already opened it so I can have a look at him to make sure everything is there. Um, see if it's sturdy and all sorts. Um, looking at the box, we can see from the side, Huffer. Again, Huffer at the front with his truck mode. From the side, you can see lovely artwork here of all of the Transformers with the golden disc in center and Megatron looking menacely over. From the back, uh, product shots, robo mode, car mode, gobbledygook here in many languages. From the side, again Huffer, bottom, gobbledygook, top, logo, and that's the box. Here is Huffer outside of the box. Now, looking at Huffer, he, yes, he's quite small, but he's actually pretty good. All the joints on him are pretty nice. None of them feel too loose. None of them feel too stiff. Well, I mean, the swivel here at his arm here is a tiny bit stiff. Same thing for the other arm, but it's not unbearable. It's, it's good. It can... Get some good poses, you know, you can have him, like, holding up something with both of his arms. So, all in all, it, it's okay. It's okay. Um, lovely different shading of blues and such what. Like, like light baby blue like, with the dark blue. Very nice. Very nice. Well painted. No real paint bleed anywhere on the figure, not even on the face. Um, I mean, yeah, um, not even the wee eyes. Although, granted, you can't really see the eyes all that much because of where they're in the head. Um, but it's it's not really a big nitpick. Really, it's just... wish the eyes were a bit more lighter of blue so you can see them. Um, but going from the head downwards, a lovely detailing throughout, especially on the crotch here. All lovely painted, all in within its zones and such what. Um, going down the legs, a unpainted plastic for the uh, for the upper legs, which is okay. I mean, yet granted, less paint does make it look like um, a bit cheaper, but unpainted plastic does also mean you can mess around with it without having to worry about paint being damaged. So there's that. Um, but as here, lovely detailing up here and all sorts. Side of the thigh here, looking lovely and such what. Back, lovely. Although I do wish they had put a bit detailing down on this, like part of the leg. You know, the part you don't see, but it would still have been a nice, if you had detailing, whenever you have the knee bent like this, you know. I mean... It's a deluxe class figure, so I can't really be complaining too much, but, you know, more detailing does look nice to the eyes. So, moving down, big orange boots, as you can see. It's got the big orange boots that we all like. Very nice, uh, good detailing here. I mean, you can barely see it, but, you know, it's... You can just somewhat see it. Sorry if my camera's a bit not focusing. I am using my phone throughout this. So you have to excuse me for that. But, nah, the legs, they do look good. I do wish that the wheels could transform and, like, slightly compact a bit more. I mean, right now, they sort of just stay there. In, like truck mode there they don't move they don't transform for whatsoever they just are there so sort of wish they could uh, compact in maybe or something like that um, sorry 
Had some blue tack. It's got some blue tack on him. Sorry, I've been trying to use him for some things. That's so whenever I said about the joints, I sort of did forget about the ankle. And well, it can it clicks at this. But there's nothing else. I mean, maybe you can get like a tiny bit of the in-between if you can get it just right. But it's, I sort of wish there was a bit more of a click clickiness to this joint. So there was. Um, but, hey, ankle pivot. Ankle pivot's good. I mean, it could be poor if they didn't have any. Very, very piss poor. Um, but... Regarding this panel, um, you can use this panel for extra posability if posability if you can get the pivot in. Sadly, there is no front pivot or back pivot. That's unfortunate. But like I said, if you can, you can sort of maybe get you can like hang on. If you can use like some of the joints, you can make it where the panels here can help. Balance it out so you can make him look like he's running. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yes, actually, yeah. Ah, you can make him look like he's running or hobbling in his sense. So uh, it's better than nothing, you know. It's it's better than nothing. Um, moving up to like the arms here. As you can see, arms full silver, except for this wee bit here. It's unpainted, but eh, looks pretty good, so it does. A slight bit of paint chipping for the arms, as you can like see here, and tiny bit, like tiny bit here. But I've that's most probably just from wear and tear on my part, so it is. I have dropped the figure a slight bit a few times, so, you know. Um, <clears throat> but now, nah. we've got a joint here for at his armpit that helps it extend out, and it's got a, and we've got a swivel connected to the torso, that's so we got good 360 movement here, and both on both arms. Um, joint here, the help, hinge joint here, the help get the thing in. The arm up only to a slight 90 degrees, I would say. You can't unfortunately have it where the arm goes straight up. You can, I mean, the only way to do that is just to utilize this joint here, but that isn't like proper elbow full bending. So that isn't, but hey, it's a deluxe class. So yes, bit gappy here, but doesn't matter. Um... Coming to his wrist, no wrist swivel really at all, but you can utilize a hinge here so you can have some wrist posability in the hinge department, although that's for transformation, but still extra bit of pose unattended posability, still good. Um, going to his head, oh, actually before we do, he does technically, he has a... Some good posability at the waist, swivel, basic swivel f at the waist. Bit tight, but not too tight. Um, a, technically an ab crunch in a sense. I mean, it, it, he does sort of, he can do an ab crunch, but that's more for the transformation here. I mean, it would look a bit weird. And I mean, maybe if you can position this cabin here, in certain angles, maybe, it would look like he's doing an ab crunch. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, it's up to you. you. If you got this figure, it's up to you how you pose your figure. So, you know, can't tell you what to do with it. But it's just there. So, now going to the head, it's on a basic ball joint. You know, slight up, slight up, slight down, left, right, 360, you know. Basic ball joint head. Very bucket head, so it is. Going to the back, as you saw earlier, there's a clicky hinge joint for the cabin to have it up like this. Don't know why you would have it like that. Or just have it basic to that. 
Although, if you have it like this, I find it's a bit difficult to access the head or turn it. So what you would, so what I would do is bring it out here once and make sure it's clicked down fully. And then bring it out again here. And then you can just have it sitting like this so you can have a bit more access to the head when you want to turn it. So, yeah. That is, I believe, it for posability wise. Um, so it is. Oh, and also, in regards of kibble, before we get into the transformation, regards of any form of kibble, this, I mean, for what I can say in the original 80s G1 show that he came from, this backpack here is a slight bit accurate in the sense, as well as these wheels sticking out, I guess. Um, so, it can get away with this cabin here fully well. So, Oh, and also, as you can see here, on his butt, there's a wee peg hole here, so you can put in, so you can plug a stand into his butt, make him do some aerial poses, so you can. I don't have a stand with me right now, so I can't show it. Moving on to his weapons. Hang on, give me your weapon. Give it. Thank you. Oop, sorry. Stay there. To his weapons, first off with the gun, as you can see here, he has got well, a very nice looking gun, actually. Something of like a shotgun. If I, I mean, it looks like a shotgun to me. I mean, I don't know what it would look like to you guys, but whatever. But uh, real good detailing. So it is real good detailing throughout. Lovely dials, rivets and all sorts. If you're wondering why it's silver, there's some silver on it. It wasn't, it really only had gunmetal grey as its paint, and that was it. So I took like a silver marker to it and just paint, did some dabbing here and there um, for it. Also, if you have any blast effect part what, that uh, was, that came with the Siege line of the Transformers, uh, or for, of the Transformers trilogy, if you had any of those blast effect parts that you might have still, you can attach one to the tip here. I don't have any with me, so I can't show that. I mean, if I did, I would. But just trust me, if you have any of those blast effect parts, you can attach it to the wee nub at the end of the gun. So, this also does play into the transformation. We'll get to that later. Next up, we'll have a look at his shield. Give me your shield. Let go, damn it. Thank you. Thank you. So... His shield, as you can see, very nice looking shield, sort of like a riot shield in a sense. Um, got some interesting claw work up here. I mean, for how it's displayed on the box or in the instruction manual, you would have it like attached to his arm like this. So you would, so you could like, I think how it should go is that he uses it like a big punching glove as well as using it as a shield or like a digging claw or something like that it, that's good and all but if you want some good shield poses you would have it you, sh you would be better off displaying it like this because there's like that wee slit there that you can look through if you pose it right you know so that's that you can do that if you so wish I mean, it's up to you, like I said, your toy, your figure, your copy of it, so. Um, also, as you can see, added a bit more of that silver on this thing as well, because, like I said before, his, his accessories, just gunmetal grey, except for here where it's silver. So, like I said before, added a bit of a silver pen, did silver for this grill bit here, and then did some scraping marks and such. What did better on this side than I would say on this side. I mean, I don't know what I was sorry, don't know what I was really hoping to go for, but just give it an extra bit of color. This also, by the way, does incorporate into the transformation that we'll be getting to right now. So, first off, what you want to do. Rotate the head. 
just rotate the head simply like that have it where it's facing back there next up what you want to do bring the cabin out to its fullest so you can get better range of movement and whenever you're folding out stuff and this and that um so like that next up what you want to do put two fingers grab onto these two bits here don't know if you can see that yep you can two fingers here pull gently make it where he does that weird ab crunch thing then what you want to do straighten out the arms bring them forward like this and then pull bring them down and then fold out the wheels like that now working with the arms still you want to try and yep get rotate here bring them down like this and make it where don't know if you guys will be able to see it but there should be like a wee peg on his waist so there should be ah, here we go, a wee peg here on his waist right there and a wee hole right there what I want to do swivel it there try and get it in there a bit finicky but it will go in so it will Come on, come on, get in, get in, get in, ging, 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 ging. Ah. Mm. Hmm. So, yeah, you know what? We'll just come back to that. Want to get on with this. Okay. So, moving on with the rest of the arm. Bring the arm like this and leave it like that. Leave it like that. Same thing with the other arm. Going to the other arm, I mean, we're doing the same thing. Bring it around, giving it the upper arm a bit of a swivel to here, where the arms are like this. You want this wee thing facing outwards from it. Then bringing up the body back like this. Now, I think when here, you can now actually... Plug in the, there we go, plug in the arms to those side hip peg things that I was talking about before. Bring the cabin, collapse it down, and the, and these wee pegs, hang on, let me just get the light, yeah. These wee pegs right here, you will put them into these wee holes right here, if I can get the light, get the light, yep. See these wee holes right here? You see them? Put these holes, try, get these holes aligned with the pegs and put them in. And that's the same for both arms. Then you want to collapse the fists in like, sorry, there you go, like this. Folding it up like this, simple. Compress the arm, compress the hands a bit into the cabin, you know, you, you just to make it where it's flush and such what. Then you come to the leggies. First off, you want to take the panels, bring them down, like that. Then get these le get the legs, line line this leg up with this leg where this wee peg bit here lines up with this hole right here. Slide those together. Same thing with the panels. Just slide them together, then turning it around. Actually, yeah, turning it around, collapsing them in like this to the legs. Then what you want to do is fold the legs up like this. And these two bumps right here, don't know if you can see that. Um, hang on. Yeah, these two bumps that I'm pointing at right there, you want to get them to go in to these two butt panel thing, these two butt pegs right here, butt peg holes. Want to put them right here by collapsing it up like this. Might want to adjust the legs a tiny bit just to make sure it all lines up. Give it, compress it all in, give it a push, squeeze it, give it a push, 
Make sure it all snaps in together. Then, there you go. This here is... This is Earthrise Transformers Huffer and is we truck mode thing. I don't know what you want to know. I don't know what it really looks like or what it's supposed to be, but it just looks like a truck to me. It's a very small truck. In regards to how the truck feels and how it goes, well, I mean, it's a truck. It's good enough. Very orange, nice tinted blue windows with a thing of silver going through it. Interesting brake lights for where they're placed. Looks like we boxes hanging off. Um, wheels, good wheels. Can make it can somewhat roll. Need to be careful with these front wheels. They're like collapsing back into the chest cavity, so they do. But now, uh, wheels, they work. Oh, yeah. Just make sure you squeeze the arms in together. Sometimes if you don't, they could rest up against the wheels stopping them from rolling properly so just remember that remember that you can roll back forth all the good stuff looks good you know back can be a bit weird i mean these gaps here and the fists sticking out like that but overall pretty good now this is where we incorporate his gear First thing you want to do is with the gun. Bit of a annoyance to get in, but there's this wee slit right here. Yeah, right here that you want to get your nails into and just pull it apart. I have I'm just gonna cheat it and use a knife. Very blunt knife. And that should just peel apart like this. We leave these to the side for now, and we take in the shield. Now with the shield, you use said guns, and these wee orange tabs right here will go in, will be plugging into these wee sockets on the sides of the guns, on the side of the split gun. So, like that. Ah. They're not, they don't really have a good grip, so just be careful of that. Um, and then same for the other half. Plug it in. So you should have something like this. Pretty simple. And then with these three peg holes you see on the shield, you will plug them in to these three peg holes on the back. Like that. And with this... I can properly say we have the fully transformed huffer. I like how the weapons incorporate into the vehicle mode. Makes it look like a flatbed in a sense, or a pickup truck in a slight sense. Um, but yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat. Gives the back a bit of extra detailing as well. Oh, and that was something I forgot to say as well. The the great detail, or not great, great, but grating, like the material great detail on the back here, but underneath the shield. So that's pretty neat. You've also got these weaponizer peg holes here and like on the top and same on the side and everything. So you can add like extra stuff to him in vehicle mode or robot mode if you so want. I don't have anything on me right now to do that, but take my word, you can do it. So, this has been my review on the, or the Earthrise Transformers Trilogy Huffer. He's not bad for a deluxe class, even though he's a wee bit, even though he's like on the small, but in the show he's small, so he's pretty good. Pick it up if you want to. Don't know if they would still sell them by the time you're watching this. So, but hey, if they do, might as well pick it up. Well, it'd be a nice addition to any Transformers collection if you so have so. But anyway, this has been my review. This has been the episode. Thank you for watching. 
If you liked, you know what to do. Like, if you want to subscribe, that'd be even better. Of course, this is all your own decision. If you don't want to, no probs. But, hey, that has been this show. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I hope to see you next time. Adios. See you later.